Hey y'all, it's Molly Ann and it's Makeup Monday. And after my last video, I had a few requests for a simple holiday look, like a golden type of eyeshadow. So I'm going to show y'all exactly how I would do that for me, on myself. There's a lot of different ways you could do it, but let's just see what we can do. I'm going to start with my primer. This is Master Prime by Maybelline. Always, always, always. a little bit put it all over okay the next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and fill my eyebrows in just a little bit so I can um, see exactly what I'm working with keep forgetting to grab my mirror This is Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow, Dip a Brow Pomade in Soft Brown. I love it. It's the best thing I've ever used for brows. Okay, and anytime you're doing a really dramatic eye, or anytime I am, I try to not do my foundation until after I do my eyeshadow. And you will see why. A lot of times the eyeshadow will travel down below, especially when you use loose pigments or mineral pigments, and I'm going to use some of those today. Um, so we're going to do the eyes first before the foundation, but I want to start with the Maybelline Color Tattoo, 24-hour color tattoo metal, and this color is too cool. It's a light, um, kind of a cream, soft cream color. And I'm going to take a very small brush. My nails so need to be done. Story of my life. Um, and I'm going to start in the corner of the eye. You want a very small brush for this. I'm going to come in a little, just about a quarter, a third of the eye on the side. And I'm going to go ahead and cover the lid. On this side. I love the Maybelline color tattoo eyeshadows because they are this um, I like how they're made they're creamy but when they go on they are not coming off they literally just set and they sit I've used them for uh, face paints for Halloween all kinds of things Okay, now do your other eye just the same. That corner, go over about a third of your eye. See how much it's brightening up my eye, my face already. You're just doing the lid. We're not doing, well, we're pretty basically doing the whole lid. Fill that in as evenly as you can. And I'm going to take a little bit now and very gently go under the brow and pull down. Did not get enough on that time. It's really going to help your uh, brows stand up and Stand out. This is also great for New Year's, really, a wedding. Date night out with the girls. Date night out with your man. Or just because you feel like doing your makeup. Why not? All right, we've got that done. Now, I'm going to take... This is a mineral pig pigment, and by that I mean it's loose, so it comes out um, like a powder. If y'all can see that, it's really pigmented very well. Um, it's 
by unique. Don't freak out, unique people. Okay. Um, I did sell unique for a while. I don't anymore just because I've got too much to do. But I really love their eyeshadow pigments. I think now they make them in creams, which is really cool. But what I've done is dumped the mineral into the lid, and I've added water to make it like a paint. See that? Well, I love it. It goes on like a paint, but it dries. Um, not like a paint. Which it just, the coverage, it goes on so easy. I know there's a company at some drugstores in North Carolina called Jessie's Girl. They make a similar uh, pigmented eyeshadow. I'm going to start at the outside of the lid and go three quarters of the way over. So I'm not covering the whole lid that we just did in white. Maybe you can see this is legit gold. That's a gold eye right there. And same thing on this side. If you don't want it this traumatic, just get a soft gold um, eyeshadow. If it's got a little shimmer and metallic in it, it'll be more exciting. I know some of y'all don't like to get excited. Makes like you nervous. A little scared. What am I gonna do if I get excited? Uh, just picking on you. Uh, and then go under your eye and meet. Whoo, that's got a string. There we go. Meet where we did the white. Right now, I look like a weird alien. We're getting there. Okay. The next thing I'm gonna do is take my Kat Von D palette, which we did in the last video. Sorry, I got a bunch of junk right on top of it. It's the Mi Vida Loca, it's my favorite. It's got so many options by Kat Von D. You can get this at Ulta, Sephora, online, all those places. Sales of colors, they're so bright and pretty, they make me feel so happy. Okay. I'm going to take the, uh, that one, Lyric. It's a creamy matte color, and I'm just going to go over the brow spot, make it a little more blended like that. And same thing in the corner of the eye and the front. I did not practice this where you're just kind of winging it as we go so I don't know I may get to the end of this video and be like God, Molly did this happened before okay now I want to go back to a I guess I can keep using this one a pretty thin small thin brush um, to do the crease of the eye and you can do a brown or an orangish gold color I think most people will probably select a brown. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go with Vox right here. Actually, I'm going to use that really, really skinny end that I did the cream in the corner of my eyes with. And I'm going to create kind of a wing right in the corner and swoop it down into the lash line. I don't want to go all over that the lash line just about a third of the way in and then the same underneath with that dark brown and then go back up here and make it very skinny turn the brush sideways and go right inside the crease of your eye get the most precise line that you can and stop about there There we go. That's working for now. Same thing on this side. Go up, come down into the eye, the lash line. Go up, brush across the bottom. That'll give you a nice soft line if you apply eyeliner also, which I'm going to do. I like dramatic eyes. 
not guys, dramatic eyes. That sounded like dramatic guys. And about three quarters of the way there. Now we're getting a little lift and shine and pretty. It's not too, too dramatic. Actually, really like it. This side. Okay, now I'm going to take this neutral uh, noble color. It's just a tan. A little bit on this flat, pretty skinny side. And I'm going to use that to blend with this dark brown that I just did. That's the key to dramatic eyeshadow, really any eyeshadow. You don't want harsh lines, you want it uh, blended for a nice soft, dreamy, bedroom eye kind of look. And just hide that. And I'm going to go back to my blah, 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 can't talk. I'm going to go back to my gold uh, powder. And get mostly powder and off the wet part that I mixed up. And just dab it along where I just blended with that neutral brown. That works. Now we will grab the brush. Go back to the brush that you got the neutral brown color. And blend it again. Blend, blend. She's a happy little elf. Okay. Let me grab. I'm now going to finish filling in my brows because they're a little sparse in my opinion. If I can find my brush. Hmm. I don't know where it went. I must have dropped it. Alright, anyhow, I'll use this one. Just fill in the brows a little more. I want them nice and precise. And same on this side. Okay, now I did get some black and brown gunk under here. Uh, which is why I waited, am waiting to do the foundation. So I'm going to go ahead and do my eyeliner, which would be right here. This is Maybelline Eye Studio. It's a little pot. This is just the dark brown espresso color. You could do black. I usually do black. I think for if you want a softer look, yeah, this is brown. If you want a softer look, go with the brown. I'm going to follow kind of the, the same line that I created with the shadow, but you want it more precise. I'm not going to fill in the whole spot that I did with this shadow. I'm going to go into the lash line and just over the lash line. Now, if you want, you can go into the corner like this, a little bit inside of the eye. I think I'll keep it. And I'll start with that on this side. And then do the liner again. I'm listening to Andrea Bocelli in the background. It's so beautiful. It's a Christmas album. Okay, we've got the top done. It's a little smudgy on this side. I can't find my brush. Um, and now I'm going to go into the corner. And you want your eyeliner line to be thinner than the, uh, the shadow line that you put in with the eyeshadow. You can do your waterline. You don't have to do your waterline. 
I usually prefer to. Not always, sometimes I don't. It does close your eye a little more. Uh, if you want more of a dreamy look. If you want a nice, bright, wide open look. Darn it, got it way too far in there. Then don't do your waterline. Just do right under and right on top. Okay, now I'm going to take a cotton pad and clean all of that stray uh, mineral and shadow. The reason you want to leave your foundation off first is because you don't want to have to go back and redo it after you do all that madness. And right now, it could change any day if something better comes out. My favorite foundation is Smashbox Studio Skin. I apply it with a brush that I got from Hobby Lobby. Yes, I do. I just squirt it on there a little bit. And it makes it really easy to make sure you're getting it even. I have got pimples popping up because it is real close to that time. Isn't that cute? So cute, Molly. Drop your makeup. It looks great. Uh, go under the eye, real close to the shadow. And this is cool. You can swoop up right here. See that? And it just helps finish off the shadow. You can even go on top of it. So I got another pimple right there. It's that time. Y'all just stay away from me in a few days. Send chocolate, movie, whatever. Go inside the corner of the eye too. Any foundation. That one squirt went really far. And same thing on this side. I have an event, a gala coming up. Friday, wearing a very pretty sparkly red dress and gold shoes. I might just go with the gold makeup because I like it. Now, this isn't the final step, so don't tell me, like, it's not even. I know it's not. Oh, my forehead, so many wrinkles. Okay, now I'm going to grab my kabuki brush, and that's how I'm going to blend the foundation. This works like magic. just looks airbrushed, even up close. It's crazy. And I've used beauty blenders and all other kinds of things. This is by far my favorite. Favorite method. My eyebrows are just doing their own thing today. Okay, so now we're going to do mascara. I really like the Lash Sensational Maybelline. I've used 3D Fiber Lash with Unique. I love it too. This is just more affordable. It's easier for me to keep on hand. And a lot of times I will use fake lashes if it's a big party or I just want to give my eyes a little extra. Up. This is working pretty well. Almost looks like my lashes have grown over the last couple weeks. Which would be awesome. Be sure if you do the top and you've got eyeliner that you do mascara on the bottom if you do it on top. Gives your eye balance and people aren't distracted. We are almost finito in 20 minutes. That's good. All these looks that I'm doing take about 20 minutes. They might take you a little longer the first time or two that you try them, but they all court they all start to run together and you're just basically switching out colors. There's the eyes for that. Now, ladies are always asking me about my lipsticks, but I actually 
hardly ever wear lipstick. I use eyeshadows and lip glosses for my lips. This is uh, Maybelline Expert Wear. It's just so dark brown. And I'm gonna line my natural lip with it. Ugh. See, I still got little black flecks and stuff coming up. Now on your top lip, this is a trick. You're going to make an X from here to here. And then on the bottom, I don't line my whole bottom lip. I just line the corners. So for this gold look, you could do a couple of things. You could stay um, within the gold look. I've got this harpsichord goldish orange color that I could apply to my lips. That is interesting. Hmm. Who knew? And you could do one of two things. I wouldn't leave it like that because it's going to be very dried out looking. You could apply a, this is Burt's Bead Gold Shimmer Lip Gloss. You can apply the gloss right over it. For a soft, neutral, golden lip, or you could go red on top of the gold shadow. It's probably what I would do. Or you could just go with a lip gloss. Do it how you want. Oh, the other thing I was going to show you, some of you have asked how I contour when I do contouring. Um, this is the this is by Stila, S-T-I-L-A. It's almost out. I've had it for a while. It's the Light Shape and Shade Custom Contour, and it is creams. It's a cream palette. Um, I start with another one of these brushes. I get these packs at Hobby Lobby. They work great. I like the shape of this one for the light contour. Um, you don't have to contour. It's kind of a tricky thing. You need to practice before you just do it and go out. But I do like the, uh, the cream. I'm going to start under this eye. I'm going to do a triangle, a soft triangle. Under this one, the same thing on this side. I, I save this more for dramatic events where there'll be low lighting and um, because you can look really harsh with contoured makeup, but if you're going to be at an evening uh, gathering and it's, you know, soft nighttime lighting, I think that's really the best time uh, to pull out the contour. And then I'm going to go across the tip of my nose, up, and up here, just going to brush out, out and up. I'm going to take a little bit on my chin, and right over my lip. Generally, I do this before my lipstick, but... This is my favorite uh, contour palette. Kat Von D has a great powder one, which is my, I like them both kind of the same. I know right now I look like a clown. Jesus. Uh, then I'm going to take the dark one and this angle brush, again, it's a Hobby Lobby brush. It's like six bucks for ten brushes. I've used them for three or four months and I just keep washing them. Okay, this, this time I'm going to start it the inside of my brow and go down my nose like that and same thing on this side yes I know I look like a clown we're getting there okay and then under the nose too that will shorten it and round it out after you've done the white uh, and then you want to do your cheeks cheekbones 
by doing your fish face. And I start at the hairline. And you want to stop under your the corner of your eye when you're doing that. And then I like to take this brush and just kind of feather it up. It's kind of a a pre-blending before you blend it. Okay, for this, I do recommend a beauty blender, and you can use the top for the light. You don't want to mix uh, blending these. Looks like I'm beating myself to death, but I'm not. Take care of all your light areas. And then you could turn it to the other side and do the dark ones. But I like to use the butt for the for this. And if you found that you put too much of the dark or the light on and you're short on time, you don't want to start over, just do a little more foundation on top and blend it out. Again, this is usually a look I save for an evening, low light type uh, situation because I'm always scared I'm going to look great. Okay, then blend the nose. You may need to use the other side of the top on the point. Like that. Another spot you can do the dark um, is right on the side of your chin, right here. You just do a little triangle. And then be sure you blend it really well. Some people uh, like to go into the the hairline up here, I don't because my hair is so light that it looks like kind of muddy when I do it. So I think the only other thing I would add is a little bit of blush. And I'm going to grab a pink, use an eyeshadow. Kind of smirk up like that and then just put it on the bottom part of the cheek right above where you did the contour. It's a little heavy, the blush is right here. Just blend. Anything that feels off, just keep blending it. Okay, I think that's it. That's Makeup Monday with Molly Ann, and I hope you all have great fun with that. I'm, next Monday I'm gonna do, hmm, something dramatic. I'll check the comments and see what you guys want. I'd like to do another holiday inspired um, eyeshadow, maybe something in the other direction, maybe a really, really dark, dramatic, smoky eye. You guys let me know what you want to see. And you can find me on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram, all those places, and let me know what you think in the videos. Follow me on all those sections and say hey, because I love interacting with you guys. I do as much as I possibly can. Just keeping it with y'all. Peace.